వెల్కమ్ టు ఎన్టీవీ నేను దీక్షాసిత్ మీరందరూ కూడా ఎంఎస్కి వెళ్ళాలి అని అనుకుంటున్నారా ఎస్ మరి ఎంఎస్కి వెళ్ళడానికి ఫస్ట్ కంట్రీ మనం చూస్ చేసుకునేది యునైటెడ్ స్టేట్స్ ఆఫ్ అమెరికా సో మరి యుఎస్లో మాది ద బెస్ట్ యూనివర్సిటీ మరి ఈ యూనివర్సిటీలో జాయిన్ అయితే మాత్రము మీకు హండ్రెడ్ పర్సెంట్ అటు బెనిఫిట్సే కాకుండా క్యాంపస్ ప్లేస్మెంట్స్ కూడా ఉంటాయి మీ ఫ్యూచర్ మాత్రం చాలా బాగుంటుంది అంటున్నారు ఇక్కడ యూనివర్సిటీ ఆఫ్ బ్రిడ్జ్ పోర్ట్ ప్రెసిడెంట్ అండ్ వైస్ ప్రెసిడెంట్ ఉన్నారు మన ఎన్టీవీ స్టూడియోలో ఒకసారి మాట్లాడి తెలుసుకుందాము ఇంతకీ యూనివర్సిటీ ఆఫ్ బ్రిడ్జ్ స్పోర్ట్లో ఏముంది అక్కడ అడ్వాంటేజెస్ ఏంటి అక్కడ స్టూడెంట్స్ వెళ్తే లైఫ్ స్టైల్ ఎలా ఉంటుంది ఫ్యాకల్టీ గురించి తెలుసుకుందాము ఇంకా ఫీజ్ స్ట్రక్చర్ గురించి కూడా తెలుసుకుందాం గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ సో ఫస్ట్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఇండియా థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ అండ్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఎన్టీవీ స్టూడియో Thank you. Yes, ఇక్కడ ఉన్నారు ప్రెసిడెంట్ అండ్ వైస్ ప్రెసిడెంట్ ఒకసారి మాట్లాడదాము టెల్ అస్ అబౌట్ ద యూనివర్సిటీ వాట్స్ యువర్ మేజర్ మోటో వెన్ ద పీపుల్ అప్రోచ్ యూ గైస్ సో ఫస్ట్ వాట్ వుడ్ యూ సే టు ద స్టూడెంట్ యూనివర్సిటీ ఆఫ్ బ్రిడ్జ్ ఫోర్ట్ ఈజ్ లొకేటెడ్ ఇన్ కెనాటికెట్ ఇన్ ద యునైటెడ్ స్టేట్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఏ వండర్ఫుల్ యూనివర్సిటీ um we have outstanding faculty we have really strong programs and they all have good career outcomes that allow our students to be successful after graduation and so we would encourage everybody to think about university of bridgeport yes you have been uh, traveling to india all the way from us uh, it's almost like 15 to 20 days uh, i think so right you have been in india so how was the students reaction uh, from india to you towards you guys everything has been really warm and welcoming um everybody has been um providing us with wonderful opportunities for our students and for their students for us to provide um faculty exchange programs student exchange programs uh dual degrees and we're really looking forward to building these partnerships yes uh so we have researched about your university and uh, we got a incredible sentence that uh, your university is the top 10 universities in us where the multiple country students have been uh, studying in your, your in your university so how do you feel about that um the, we at the university of bridgeport love diversity we have had a diverse population since the beginning it is part of our mission to be diverse our university is almost 100 years old yes so we have had students from around the world since the beginning of the university we love the students we love the culture we love students meeting and experiencing other cultures on our campus we actually hosted a 30 year uh reunion for some of our international students this past summer and they came in from all over the globe africa asia europe um and it was really wonderful to see how successful our alums were um who've come in around the world um and really as the world becomes and the economy becomes more global it's so important for students to understand different perspectives different cultures different um ideologies and they really get to practice that at university of bridgeport in a in a wonderful way yes so how about the hospitality uh, in the university when the student enters the university uh, obviously 100% the student feels a bit nervous and bit tension and uh, bit happiness all the mixed emotions the student carry and they'll be uh, leaving their home country it's not uh, just a home place like uh, it's like uh, not a 100 or 200 miles it's been thousands of lakhs of miles they mm -hmm. travel and they come with a lot of trust to your university so what the how hospitality will be there from your university guys when we um when the student arrives on campus we have a team of people that welcomes the students and in many of the cultures there are clubs so for these students from india we have an indian student club so the indian student clubs welcomes them in our dining hall we have food that has been prepared by the recipe from students from india so we m try to make the student feel as comfortable and to find people that they know from their culture Yes. and to offer food from their culture offer the availability for them to cook food from their culture and we have a whole international festival so certainly there can be a club with students from their country as well as they can meet clubs from other countries and celebrate in our international festival and we do have an international student department that helps students with all the paperwork and all mm -hmm. of the um the procedural things that you need to do when you're an international student but in addition to those types of services they also schedule events um and um throughout the year that highlight different cultures different 
um, activities and so it really helps to create a cohesive community. Yes, so we would love to know more about the faculty and the duration of the classes and even uh, did students can do the part-time job over there because they have to balance the financial things also because once they join the university they have to uh, balance their personal life, they have to balance their study life and everything and even uh, every student think what is the goal after five years. So when they join in the university it will be almost like two years the study continues will be there and then what's the next step so that's why the student will be uh, planning for the next five years so how supportive the team will be there over there the faculty a lot of our faculty are international faculty so we have domestic and international faculty so they do help the students to become integrated into the university to help them um, be welcomed um, in terms of their highly credentialed faculty, their faculty who are experts in their industry, who've worked in their industry, who have connections, who can help students after graduation find jobs. Um, and we have industry advisory boards that um, have individuals who tell us what's happening in the professions to make sure that we're moving in the right direction, that our curriculum is supporting our students and that they're getting the latest um, experiences. In terms of part-time jobs, we do for undergraduates, we have um, work study on campus. Okay. Um, for um, graduate students, we have GA positions. Um, and we also look for, um, while they may not be paid, we do provide, uh, look to provide internship opportunities, um, both on campus and off campus, that allow our students to practice the skills um, that they're learning in their classes. Yes, so yeah. from last five years, if we check uh, in the undergraduation program, so uh, the students, uh, which subject they are choosing the more uh, into the percentage. Like if we see, uh, nowadays, they mm -hmm. completely people are going to computer science than mechanical because now the future is completely IT future is in IT. So from this university, University of uh, Bridgeport, most of the students percentage, uh, which subject they are choosing from last five years, if we check. I would say that the number one major is computer science. The okay. international students are studying computer science, but they're expanding. We have um, artificial intelligence is very popular right now. We have the first artificial intelligence master's program in our state. Okay. We see in engineering, you have artificial intelligence, you have data and security. You have computer science and computer engineering, network engineering, biomedical okay. engineering, as well as in the School of Business, you have finance still, an MS in finance is STEM, MS in analytics, mm -hmm. and we are now creating, we have an MS in accounting, which I also think will draw students because there's good work. Yes, so now we would like to know about the fee structure of the each subjects and all. So now we have uh, informed us that AI uh, MS was running very super fast. The mm -hmm. students are choosing AI subject and the next into like uh, robotics and uh, computer yes. sciences because that's a future of world. So what's the fee structure of that? We do provide some scholarships um, and each student is evaluated um, individually um, based on their ability to pay um, and the program that they're looking at. Um, so the, the tuition is published on our website, um, but we do look to support our students in, in individualized ways um, with scholarships um, on campus. And we just launched um, Scholarship, Scholarship Universe, Universe, which is another tool, it's a platform to match students with their majors for scholarships both available on our campus yes. and all over the world. So a student can come onto the platform if they're studying artificial intelligence and they're from India or they're from any country, they can go on and get matched with scholarships available from outside the university to come inside and help them with their tuition. Yes, so how about the campus placements in the university? So uh, if the uh, 200 students were there uh, in the MS uh, like mm -hmm. AI, AI subject, so how, how much percentage uh, the campus placements will be placement? For placement for outside yes. jobs? Yes. Oh, very high percentage of the students will have outside jobs. The engineering and the STEM fields are in demand throughout the country. So Bridgeport is located between New York and Boston. Okay. And we have Stanford, Connecticut, which has a lot of corporate headquarters. So there's a lot of work opportunity. Within two hours, there's a lot of work opportunity for the students. 
Yes, so uh, we heard many uh, inputs from even Hyderabad students also. We have uh, much more activities run in the university like sports, like dance and everything. Mm -hmm. So let us uh, t tell about them. We are a division school too uh, and we um, have a number of sports. We have swimming, we have soccer, um, we have basketball. So, and many other sports that are available to students. Um, Seaside Park is next to the university, which overlooks the water. Um, and a number of our Indian students will play cricket in the park um, and they'll run a cricket tournament in the park. Um, so there's lots of sports activities. We, we host a homecoming every year uh, in the fall, which um, includes some sp uh, sporting events that allows um, our current students and our alumni and their families to come together as a large community to celebrate. So we do have a vibrant um, sports um, experience at the university and there are scholarships for the undergraduates um, in our sports as well. Yes, uh, few students, uh, they couldn't uh, pay complete uh, s uh, free structure. So we, do you guys have uh, something like EMI process or something like that when the, when the student join into the university? We have a payment plan available for the students and they can start in the beginning. They can okay. set up their payment structure if that is more convenient for them. Yes, so what's the minimum GPA score to join in the university? It will depend on the major. It depends on the program that the student is applying into. If it's engineering, it'll be 2.8. Okay. If it's business, it'll be 3.0, and it varies. We have many programs, so it depends on the program that they're applying into. And all that information is on the website that is easily accessible to the students. Yes, so from uh, India, uh, every year, uh, number of students uh, who join into the academic year, so can we know the number? This year approximately from India, exclusively uh, from uh, India throughout the world. So we have about 1,700 international students and about 89% uh, of that is from India. So 89% of our India. So mana India power in the Nadi Kada Marakada Motan say University of Bridgeport lo 89% uh, students kuda mana India nunche vastunaru anadi man clear ga president and vice president Japram Jaragi and te enta power undi mana Indian students ki. So Indian students are all time uh, super fast uh, in studies under the Chapram Jargindi. So finally, uh, just tell to the students directly that what uh, only in one line about the University of Bridgeport. Um, <laughs> University of Bridgeport is an incredibly welcoming community. Um, you will find your place there. We will help you f uh, be successful. And I would strongly encourage you to um, look into this opportunity. Yes. And I would say that the University of Bridgeport is warm, it's welcoming. We have many opportunities for students, for clubs and for athletics. The academics are wonderful. We have research opportunities as a student or with our faculty. We have a research day and we have many corporations that are located very close to us. So we would welcome you and an opportunity to meet you. Yes, so University of Bridgeport is the right place and the right choice for the masters and Ishapram Jargindi. University of Bridgeport uh, President and uh, Vice President and uh, really thank you so much uh, for joining us thank here you. in NTV okay. and uh, we, uh, you guys have gave us time and a lot of information we have gathered uh, about your University of Bridgeport. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Yes. So that's all about the University of Bridgeport. Uh, so Tapakunda Miru uh, interesting uh, Unte Matramu Ikuruna Skolotuna members ki contact Tai Miru University of Bridgeport Gurinchi tells Kochumarini Vishalu. This is Diksha signing off Chusinandi and TV.